Good morning and welcome to What's for Breakfast, Lunch, or Brunch. And today, of course, I'm having some leftovers. My husband and I, over the weekend, went to the Greek festival, our local Greek festival, and had an amazing time, had amazing food. So, I know it looks like a lot of cream I'm putting in there, but the reason I put so much sweet cream is because when we brew our coffee in the Keurig, I add literally three heaping tablespoons of espresso powder or instant coffee powder, whichever one we have. So it's high octane coffee. So to take some of the bitterness out, I add a lot of cream to it. And I'm just whisking it up here with our electric frother until it gets that foam on there. All right. See if I can give you a look at the cup here. I don't know if I can get it. Probably not. I'll put um a picture of it on my community tab. It's a cute cup. It's got a little skull on it for, you know, the fall festivities. But also have pictures of the Greek festival on there and the food and, you know, uh, the pictures of them dancing and just a fun time. So I have that on a community tab as well, but I don't want to tilt my coffee out. Let me take a sip and see how we're doing. Oh, that's, that's good and strong like I like it. Delicious. And, um, what am I going to say? The, let me show you this too before we put it back in the refrigerator. We went and, of course, one of the things we got was baklava. And I had two pieces. Actually, we had three pieces left over. We gave one to our son. But I went ahead and portioned it to make it easy. Er in a smaller container so there's one more piece left for tomorrow and i got a piece in a toaster heating up getting warm because i'll have that with my um coffee and then for our main food It's hot. Good. All right. Now, here is the... It's like a lasagna, which I have it on my community tab. An actual Greek name for it. And I actually had some rotisserie chicken left over. So, what we did last night before we went to bed, we put the carcass in a crock pot, covered it with water, Put it on low and let it cook while we were sleeping in the crock pot on low. And um, I'm just getting a fork here. Cooked it on low and this morning when I got up, filtered it through a strainer. Just put a strainer over some Tupperware. Let it go down inside of there and put it in the refrigerator so we have homemade bone broth, chicken bone broth stock whatever you like to call it. And I'll show you one of the containers. We were able to get three containers and I'll come back to this. Ooh, that is hot right out the oven. Let me put that fork there. I keep forgetting that I put my stuff in the oven cause I like it super hot and it'll uh, hold a temp. But this is the container. And this is one of the ones, you could get them offline, but we just kept it for years that we had got some uh, pho from our local Vietnamese restaurant. And I kept a container and we just put that right in there in the refrigerator, let it get cold. We got three containers. And then when we needed to make mashed potatoes, we'll put uh, chicken stock from our freezer in it instead of uh, water and milk. 
and then we uh, use it to make you know soups also if we need to hydrate it even when we're doing rice instead of doing water we'll use that and also what i did is the reason i showed you that before i heated my pasta dish up just to add a little bit moisture i took a tablespoon of that uh, chicken broth and added it to it so and then the chicken that fell off the carcass that was in the um crock pot i went ahead and added that to the top too so that wouldn't go to waste and then i also have one more uh, grape leaf wrap all right I got one more little surprise. Well, actually, two more surprises. Let's see here. Because I love, love, love. And also, what I did was... That's right, a piece of chicken skin. So, listen to that. Can you hear the crisp? So, what I did was... Took that piece of crispy chicken skin that was in the crock pot from cooking overnight from the carcass, you know, now the carcass is cooked. You know, you get a rotisserie chicken, instead of throwing the bone and the skin and all that away, save it in the container that it comes in. Once you're finished taking all the meat off the chicken that you want, you take that carcass, skin, meat, whatever's left over, put it in the crock pot, cover it with water, just regular tap water, and then turn it on. Now, if you're planning on doing it, you know, for while you're sleeping, we put it in there at like six o'clock last night, covered with water, turned it on low, and it is about 10 o'clock today, and that was an hour ago that we took it off, so it cooked well over 12 hours on low, and it was fine. Or you could do it on high, like say if you're doing it during the day, you could do it on high for six to eight hours, but we just prefer to do it while we sleep because it's set it and forget it, and it's ready by the time we get up. And I took that piece of crispy skin out, or actually, it's not crispy when it came out. It was, you know, soggy and flimsy. And I just took and put it in the air fryer for about seven minutes on 375, and it crisped up. So I'm going to have that with my, my food. And I am so excited. almost forgot. almost forgot about that this is our now i hope i say this right i've been practicing let's see spacopita 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 it's a greek pastry that's filled with it's filio dough filled with spinach and cheese mixture our favorite we got that in the in the pictures as well on the community tab but See how flaky? And the key is to enjoying your leftovers is just put it in a container so they're ready to go. So I just literally look at that. See that? It's very hot. It just came out of the toaster. All right. And my last but not least, for dessert with my coffee. Oh, it's bubbling too. With baklava. And that will be with the coffee. Well, that's what I'm having for my brunch today. Very good, very hearty brunch. Not that's going to waste. And the leftovers, like I said, was portioned out. In the refrigerator that we've been eating off of since the weekend and there you have it please enjoy your day and please get you something good to eat thanks for watching